The oxygen concentration in a healthy human body is approximately three times the amount of oxygen in the air. All the metabolic processes in your body are regulated by oxygen. Your abilities to think, feel, and act require oxygen-related energy production. In fact, if you're not getting enough oxygen, it can disrupt your body's ability to function correctly. According to Dr. Arthur C. Guyton, in the textbook on medical physiology, all chronic pain, suffering, and diseases are caused by a lack of oxygen at the cell level. Since the publication of his book, a growing number of researchers have confirmed that the best way to improve your health may be related to the optimum oxygenation of your cells. Oxygen is the only component of the air we breathe that's capable of supporting life. Depending on where you live, the air you breathe is composed of approximately 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 1% in trace components. But when you compare this to prehistoric times, the level of oxygen in the Earth's atmosphere has declined by over a third. And in polluted cities, the decline may be more than 50%. The rising carbon dioxide that's driving global warming is big news everywhere. But what's even more alarming is the long-term fall in atmospheric oxygen concentrations. Oxygen levels are dropping faster than carbon dioxide levels are rising, and this change in the makeup of the air we breathe is having a direct effect on our health. Just a few breaths of air containing too little oxygen can have serious consequences, and extreme oxygen deprivation can lead to mental confusion, loss of coordination, weakness, nausea, unconsciousness, and even death. As we witness the fall in oxygen concentrations all over the world, minerals are also disappearing from agricultural soils at a disturbing rate. Early soils were rich in minerals. Traditional farming techniques maintained soil fertility through crop rotation, but over the last 100 years, average mineral levels in agricultural soils have fallen dramatically worldwide, and most of the blame lies with artificial chemical fertilizers. In the 1800s, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium were identified by German chemist Justus von Liebig as the elements essential for plant growth. And while these fertilizers have revolutionized agriculture, they've also turned the soil acidic. The combined effects of these fertilizers and the lime needed to combat soil acidity has changed important trace minerals into chemical forms that plants can no longer absorb. Most of the food that we eat is mineral deficient. This is a big problem because you need minerals for growth, healing, energy, proper bone formation, nerve maintenance, and heartbeat regulation. Dr. Linus Pauling, the two-time Nobel Prize winner, said that you can trace every sickness, every disease, and every ailment to a mineral deficiency. The top three mineral deficiencies that are the subject of a majority of the current health discussions, studies, and research are magnesium, zinc, and chromium. Magnesium is responsible for over 300 bodily biochemical and cellular metabolic processes. It's often referred to as the master mineral. Zinc handles the proper functioning of your immune and digestive systems. It reduces stress levels and increases the rate of healing for your wounds. Without enough chromium, you're at risk for diabetes, atherosclerosis, and a host of other issues including chronic fatigue, low blood sugar, and mood swings. The combined effect of less oxygen and mineral depletion is wreaking havoc on our bodies. We have enough to stay alive, but not enough to truly be healthy. And as we get older, it means more pain, suffering, sickness, disease, and a rapidly deteriorating quality of life. What about you? Are you chronically tired? When you get sick, does it take a really long time for you to get better? You might not be able to add more years to your life, but what if you could add more life to your years? What if you could heal faster and get back to feeling good again?